Well, I'm back to having <laughs> a heavy helmet again. I got all kinds of things. So yeah, I realized when it got cold out and I had to bundle up with a scarf and all this stuff, it's like you don't want wires hanging down when you're all bundled up and hanging down to your belly bag and stuff like that. Um, it's just, it's not easy. I really like having all my moto vlogging stuff on the helmet. If any of you want to attach your um, power bank to your helmet, kind of like I'm doing, Basically what I do is I use a handlebar mount, a, a mount, a, get, a GoPro mount that's supposed to go around your handlebar. And I, um, I modify it just a little bit, like it's so easy to do. You just take a screwdriver and pop out the little nut on one of the sides. I think I'll make a tutorial on it eventually. If you have one of those lipstick style power banks or anything that'll fit inside that little handlebar thing, you just put that inside the handlebar thing and then uh, I could just go show you. This guy's on his phone. You can see him in the mirror, in his mirror, looking down. Dang, what's this guy doing? Or woman? Yeah, now you're gonna get in an accident, dummy. I should follow them just to see like for the sake of whoever she might hit or he might hit I didn't see who it was but dang most people like that that make my YouTube videos not boring hopefully they're not boring well someone did a big skid mark dang maybe some criminal was like trying to get away from a cop or something and was on one wheel or <laughs> I don't know I think that's the cop car. What do you think? Or is this a weird mirror on the side? What is that mirror anyway? It's like turned inward. So if it's a, just a mirror, what's it good for? See it? What is it for? Is it like, it looks like a light or something. Looks like a, a headlight or something, like a searchlight or a floodlight. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and the antenna sticking out backwards like that. This is all cut. Oh my gosh, that antenna could slap people in the bicycle lane. Hey, cop, you're illegal. I don't think you're really a cop, though. I don't know what you are. Hey, get your antenna out of the bicycle lane. <laughs> you're going to slap bike bicycles. There's that, that line again. Oh, that's oil, isn't it? Payphone. I saw a payphone. Oh my gosh, they're coming back. That's the second one I've seen. I'm learning how to do um, rev match engine braking while braking. But here's the trick. Whoa. Oh, the bike jumped on me as I was doing that U-turn. Okay, let's see. I think my engine's fully warmed up by now. It's been like 20 minutes at least. So give it a little throttle and see what happens. No, it's still slipping. Shoot, I need a new throttle. I mean, a new clutch, don't I? That's not good. Oh, shoot. The right lane stopped very suddenly. If I pull in this gear. Yep, it slipped. I mean, the bike will still move when I want it to move, but I just can't give it full throttle or else it'll just slip. It's kind of like less throttle makes it move more. So yep, I can't do any racing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what kind of wear and tear this clutch has been put through, or this whole bike has been put through, but it, it could be the original clutch for all I know. It probably is, <laughs> so who knows? So that does mean I need a new clutch, right? When it starts slipping, I mean, there's nothing I can, I, I mean, I don't really want to mess with it. I'm not familiar and, and I promised myself to stop working on things I'm not, I'm totally not familiar with because I get way too frustrated and I just end up throwing things and <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm speeding already. I think this truck wanted to race so I gave him a little hint that he's not gonna win unless my clutch slips again 
parked and I realized, oops, I went right up to 55 and it's like 35 around here. <laughs> Even though everyone in the left lane is going like 50, whatever, I'm gonna follow them. Okay, actually I'm gonna slow down a little cause this intersection, yeah. I actually um, don't like going faster. Like they say to go a little faster than cars, but in general, I actually like to go a little slower, not, not than cars, but I just like to go a little slower. Maybe because I'm not totally familiar with this bike still, but I just like to go a little bit slower. That way I have more time to react and everything. And if someone, if something does pull out right in front of me, then I'll have, you know, a better chance of stopping and everything. I just feel safer when I'm going slower. I mean, obviously, right? But. cargo that was beside me just disappeared I'm like looking for it in my mirror has that ever happened to you like you're riding and there's someone behind you or beside you like five seconds ago and you look again and they're gone 